I'm a bit worried about Carrie. Oh, she's still sick. I hope it's nothing serious. I've no idea. She hasn't been home and I haven't seen her. Well, where is she? I don't know. First Carrie and now Declan. Makes you think. You sly devil. Where on earth are you? Las Vegas. Las Vegas? Are you all right? Or are you in some danger? Um, I'm feeling fantastic. How else would I be feeling on my wedding day? married him. She's married that horrible little man. What? In Las Vegas. Carrie and Declan are in Las Vegas. Honeymooning. You're telling me you are growing cannabis in your garden? Yes, dear. It's called companion planting, Michael. They do very well next to the sweet corn. We're very organic at our place. It's an illegal substance, George. <sighs> not the way George uses it, it's not. You are going to destroy those plants the minute you get home. I will not. You stay there. Well, I'm not going anywhere, am I? And you come with me. Now, you listen. If growing that stuff stops that man in there from going blind, then I'm going to do it and you're not going to stop me. And what if the police find out? They won't. Do you think that I've got a ruddy plantation out there? Oh, for heaven's sakes, Michael, use your brains. Look, I just don't like the thought of you, you don't like yourself the at risk. risk. You just don't like the thought of your highfalutin reputation being tarnished. That wouldn't look so good, would it? Mum, the law is the law. The law is an S. And so are you, a mighty big one. Oh, Michael, we've found Carrie. Ah, oh. oh, good. Is she all right? Mmm. She's married. What? She and Declan have tied the knot. In Las Vegas. Hey, do you want a cup? Oh, it looks like you'd stand a spoon up and... Oh, I think I had one too many Ropata specials last night. Hey, thanks for the party. It was great. Oh, it's fine. How'd the cleaning up go? Fine. It's all finished. I dropped the bottles off at the recycling thing. Great. Thanks for the care. I might have to keep you on. Well, you better. <laughs> oh, oh, Stu, we need to talk money. Yeah, oh, I guess last night cost a bomb, right? Yeah, and there's the telephone connection bill and the washing machine high and the rent. I thought we paid that. Yeah, in advance. It's due again another few days. Oh, don't worry, I'll make a list and we'll settle up at the end of the week. OK? OK. Fine. There you go. Mm, thanks. Hey, how's Denny doing? I'm fine. Mm. You know, thanks. she's got guts, that one. And Rob's good value, too. Yeah. Steve, you sly pup! <laughs> what? Well, don't think you can play secrets with me. I find everything out. That's no smart. I wish I did. Have you heard the news, Jackie? That Carrie and Declan are married, and you'll never guess where. <sighs> yeah, married? In Las Vegas. Well, they didn't muck around. You didn't know? Nobody told me at all. Bert and married. Oh, poor Declan. Poor Declan. He knew what he was doing. What are you going to call him now, Steve? Oh, lordy, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> but tricky, isn't it? Oh, come on, look on the bright side. They might have made a fortune on the one-armed bandits by now. You could have rich parents. Oh, God. Oh, Jenna. Oh, hi, Stu. Hey, neat party. Thanks. Yeah, it wasn't bad, was it? Oh, busy, eh? Yep, crazy. I could do with a new pair of feet. Might have died. Well, where's your offside? Oh, she's got the day off. Don't suppose you uh, need another part-timer? Well, actually, I could use one. She only does about 20 hours a week. Well, how about me? I mean, I'm fast, efficient, polite, with the public. Yeah, yeah. How much do you know about food prep? Uh, not a lot. Well, how about cleaning? Oh, well, I can help with the books. Look, I'm sorry, Stuart. I need someone who can deal with food. That or nothing, OK? Thanks. <clears throat> hey, Nick, how's it going? Good. Great party. Yeah, well, it wasn't until some little the air out of everyone's tyres. Bummer, man. Yeah, but anyway, what with the party and uh, the rent and stack of bills, my finances have gone off the planet, man, and I need a job. So what else is new? 
Well, how about your lawn mowing business? Anything going there? Ah, uh, nah. Sorry, man. Ever since I did my leg, you know, business hasn't been so good. You know what I mean. Oh, but don't worry. I'll put you on my waiting list. I'll see you later, Danny. Thanks for coming. Bye. Look who's here. How you doing? OK. Will you stop fussing? Get out of Jackie's way. Oh. Are you sore? Oh, not that. I've got a thumper of a headache and I'm sick to bloody death of sympathy and stupid small talk. Where's it hurting? Here. Throbbing. Okay. I'll get something for it. I won't be a tick. Jack. Sorry, mate. Now, mostly I'm butte. Sometimes I'm horrible. <laughs> yeah? Put a sock in at you. Pain relief coming up. You're a doll. Love you. Well, it must be love for Carrie to do something like that. Oh, she needs a head red. Wild horses wouldn't drag me away with that man. And certainly not to Las Vegas. Isn't that where all those uh, gangsters are? Well, my mum could have been you. That's enough from the cheap seats. I'm sorry, Jen. I keep forgetting about you and Declan. Oh, that's all right. Oh, damn, we're out of oil. Nick, could you get a... I'll go. It's time I own my keep. Oh. Going to the dairy, Mrs. Zen? Mm-hmm. Get some ice cream? Please. Please. Hey, better be careful. Dairies are dangerous places. What if you don't come back? Nick! You watch out, Buster. Do you want that ice cream or not? That was a bit uncalled for. Nah, me and Marge are mates. She likes my jokes. Yeah, just as well. And what about your other mate? George. By the time you get around to see him, he will have gone home. we will go tomorrow. He was asking after you today. He says you're good company. Can't think why. I've been too busy. Really? Busy letting air out of tyres, you mean? I think you'd better go tonight, don't you? Well, do I have a choice? Oh, are you busy? No, I'm just pretending. Hey, what's up? Um, I need some advice. Well, that's what they pay me for. <sighs> it's money. I've got debts coming out of my ears. Oh, the joys of flatting, eh? Uh, have you considered the doll? Oh, looks like I'll have to. Have you known it before? No. OK, well, it's relatively simple. You have to go and register at the employment service, then go down to social welfare um, on take along your relevant documents. Like what? Uh, well, school leaving certificate, some ID, uh, your driver's licence is fine for that. Um, birth certificates, previous jobs you've had, something that shows what you're paying in rent. And that's it? That's it. Look, don't worry, you'll be rubbing shoulders with all sorts down there. Graduates, professionals, the lot. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Have you got any tips? Just be honest. Shouldn't be a hassle. You changing the rosters, eh? It's nothing major. Well, what are you worrying about with Burton as your new stepmom? You'll have all the best shifts. I take it you're not too pleased about the wedding. You could say that. Uh, Joe, I've rostered you with Danny Brown tomorrow. Oh, the mistake to me. No, the person. Oh, sorry. I thought you were looking after her. Not for a couple of days. Oh, sorry. How come? Burton is running around America, if you hadn't noticed. You know what that does to my workload? I'm so stupid sometimes, sorry. Just stop saying sorry. May haul you over the coals, did she? Good on her. Just be careful, that's all I ask. We didn't come down the last shower, you know. I'll pop in and see you tomorrow. I bet you will. Nick. G'day. Ah, uh, g'day, Nick. Long time no see. Oh, this is Mark. Oh, g'day, Mark. How you going? Fine, thanks. Call in a haircut, do you? Suppose so. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you looked like a girl. What are you now? <laughs> He's still a girl. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, saw your lovely mother today. She's doing all right. Yeah. She must be a saint by working for old poker face. McKenna? Yeah. Was, was that that guy? Yeah. Mm. What's he done now? He's a bloomin' bully, that's what he is. See, 
I've got this glaucoma thing, it's making me go blind. Well, it was, till I discovered my own remedy. He finds out what my remedy is and tries to put the kibosh on it. Oh, he's probably just jealous. Oh, he wants my money for his drugs. And my remedy doesn't cost a thing. Just a bit of fertiliser and compost. What is it? Oh, George's gold, I call it. It's my pride and joy. Some of them are six feet tall. Grow them myself. They look like tomato plants. <laughs> Forget the pills. Just get stuck into the biscuits. You're growing dough. Shh. Cool. Well, it's only for my own use. It's strictly medicinal. And Lord McKenna knows what he can do about it. Stick it in his pipe and smoke it, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's the ticket! <laughs> you could have knocked me over with a feather. I'm not surprised. If you ask me, Carrie's nuts. I wouldn't trust a man that moved that fast. I wouldn't trust him one full stop. Mm, there's something seedy about Declan Kennedy, all right. Oh, well, marry in haste, repent at leisure. Setting a divorce date already, Marge. Well, you must admit it was a bit rushed. Oh, I love it. Oh, you're as nutty as Carrie. Well, at least the twins will have a father. Mm, is that, I suppose. That's about all. You two sound like you're at a funeral or something. I think we should throw them a party, get a present and everything. Mm, it is traditional, I suppose. Oh. OK, let's start now. Here we go. Donations. <laughs> Um, I'm here to apply for the doll. Got an employment card? Yep. Can I have your name, please? Uh, Stuart Nielsen. Just fill this in and then drop it back up here. OK, thank you. Need an agree to fill that in. <coughs> Looks like it. It's your first time? Yeah. Welcome to the club. Been laid off? No, I left school last year, but I haven't been able to get anything. Got school seeing that? Doesn't do you much good these days, eh? See you later. Um, am I disturbed? Have you heard any more about the wedding of the century? And they're hardly phoning in every five minutes. I hope Carrie's all right. She's on her honeymoon. Yeah, but... But what? Oh, Carrie never does anything rash. I left her high and dry last week. I'd hate to think I'd pushed her into it. It's like she didn't have anyone else to turn to. Well, she obviously had Declan. Oh, that's what I mean. Forget this guilt trap. Can you imagine Burton being pushed into anything? Not really. She's just a whole lot more vulnerable than she lets on. Yeah, we all. Have you thought any more about us? Yes. I'm not angry with you anymore. But I'm not prepared to just pick up where we left off either. I want some time on my own. So I guess that means a drink's out of the question. Yeah. Fair enough. Be here all day, mate. Yeah, need to get here real early. How long have you been out of work? Three years on and off. Did my apprenticeship building. Couldn't get any work. Had some casual stuff labouring. That's about it. <laughs> hey, what the hell? At least I haven't got dull disease. What's that? I sleep all the time. I run. Gets me out of bed in the mornings. Need to be fit to deal with these guys. I reckon I could do lectures on getting around bureaucracy. Trouble is, I don't think there are any vacancies in that area at the moment. Stuart Nielsen. See you around. I'm Lois Smith. Stuart Nielsen. Have you got some ID? This all looks pretty straightforward. Your last job was at the Shorten Street Clinic. Yeah, I was cleaning. And what happened there? Were you laid off? No, no, no I left. But then, then they offered my job back, but I didn't take so it. So you quit? Yeah. 
We've got a problem then. Because you left of your own accord, you're not eligible for a benefit for six months. That's the stand down period. Sorry. Morning, Mum. George, how's the leg? The leg is fine. You've got a cheek and a half, Michael. It's one thing telling me to get rid of him, but it's another thing to sneak around in the middle of the night. Oh, just hang on. What are we talking about? Our plants. And don't pretend you don't know. They've gone, and we all know who took them. Not me. You're the only one with any jolly reason to, trampling all over my garden. Mum, I didn't take your plants. I don't agree with what you're doing, but I certainly wouldn't go around doing something like... Wouldn't you just... Well, if you didn't take them, who the blazes did then? Tell me that. Mm. Aha! There's that missing shirt. Oh, you a washer. Yeah, thanks, mate. It's only been about three weeks. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's this? Uh, jersey? Once, maybe. Must be Leonard's. You let Leonard at the washing machine? Sam, Sam, think, 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 huh? Have you seen the dishes? Oh, no. Break it to me gently, please. He only washed his own. Stays out. That's not the point, mate. He lives here. We're gonna have to tell him. You're gonna have to tell him. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, left some notes. I was working on them the other evening. They're, they're in a red folder, I think. Uh, are, uh, are these then, Leonard? Yes. Thanks. Yes. Well, better get back. Very in particular, Leonard. Plenty, baby. Thanks for doing the dishes. Oh, it's quite all right. Well, it isn't, you see. Because in this flat, when you do the dishes, you do all the dishes. Oh, yes, of course. I'm, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to break any of it. I'm a little bit clumsy. So. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's all right, OK? Next time. Got it. Got it. Jenny? Oh, uh, hi. How's life on the shop floor? Uh, interesting. I've just had a talk with George and May. There's um, something we need to discuss. Hi, I'm just collecting money for Carrie. We want to get her something really nice. Sure. Uh, would it be all right if we had a few drinks in the staff room after she gets back? Yeah, certainly. Raid the petty cash. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, any ideas for a prezi? Let me know. I'm off the lunch. OK. OK. Well, he's certainly a fast mover, you're Mr Kennedy. He's not my Mr Kennedy. He never was. Oh, so? No regrets? Of course not. I'm very happy for them. What about you? Mm, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so how is George? No, oh, he's fine. The old reprobate. Oh, what's he done? Well, it's a long story, but basically he and my mother have been growing cannabis. You're joking. The old scoundrel! Yeah, quite. He takes it in biscuit form for his glaucoma. And it works? Oh, yes, yeah, a recognised remedy. Oh, trust George, eh? Well, not to mention my mother, who's doing the home baking. So when did you find this out? Yesterday. And now they tell me that last night somebody went and raided the lot. That's a bit nasty. You don't think it was the police? No. No, I don't. Oh, my God. Nick, he went to see George last night. Sorry. Oh, kill him! Like me to have a word with him? No, thank you, Michael. I'll deal with this one myself. I'm going to need some more painkillers. I'll just check your chart. Sorry, but your next medication isn't due for half an hour. What are you talking about? Jackie didn't even chart them. It's only a headache. I'm sorry, but I've got to follow what's charted. Have you had an IQ test recently? I have had a headache since yesterday. Jackie got me some painkillers, painkillers, right? They're not exactly a restricted drug, are they? Well, she's a nurse. She's supposed to help. I'll see what I can do. Nurse, I'm sorry about that. It's not your fault. She had a bit of a rough night. I'm Rob, by the way. Joe. Jackie not on today. Yes, she is. But she's asked me to take over nursing Danny for a while. How come? Well, our director of nursing's away and Jackie's sort of having to be here. It's a big responsibility. I guess. Deep in thought, Miss Manu. Sorry? Hang up. 
No, not really. Gina wants to see you. What for? That's good. No, you wanted to see me? Oh, not me. Your mum. Pronto, she said. What have you done? Nothing. Got yourself a job yet? How did it go? Oh, great. Just great. They uh, put me on stand down for six months. Why? Because I did what you said. I was honest. How honest? Well, as soon as I told them I didn't take my job back at the clinic, that was it. Oh, boy. I, mean, I don't know if they could do that. Six months. Well, don't you read the papers? Next time you have a job, hang on to it. Gee, thank you. You're welcome. See you, guy. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Well, you could try for an emergency benefit. <sighs> no, I'm not going back there. Well, how about March? Short-term loan. No way. I wish I'd lied, you know. I wish I'd told them I was made redundant. Yeah, it's probably the best thing. They can check up, you know. You took your time. What's wrong? Come here. What are you doing? Have you been taking drugs? No. Why don't you get the sniffer dogs in? You went to see George Bentley last night, right? Yeah. And he told you about his cannabis. So? It's medicinal or whatever you call it. I know. I also know that overnight somebody stole his plants. I didn't steal... George Bentley is your friend. How dare you steal from him? I don't care what it is, you don't steal from me. Would you friends. just listen for a minute? I didn't steal I suppose you sold it all at school today. If I find you've been smoking that stuff again, I've had enough. And here is the solution. Is it you or is it me? Since I think the change is what I need If I'm looking for a chance of a dream Sean and Street Taking time to hold my place Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall says I'll be Sean and Street Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.